Hi, welcome back to Linux. Today we're going to install VirtualBox. Now we're installing the latest version, which at the time of this recording on January 1st, 2020 is VirtualBox 6.1. So the first thing we're going to do is go to www.virtualbox.org. Once you get to www.virtualbox.org, we're going to choose the download VirtualBox 6.1 button. So we click that right there. Um, we'll choose Linux distributions right here in the top part of the screen. And we're going to choose 1804. And the reason we're choosing 1804 Ubuntu is because Linux Mint 19.3 is built on the long-term support uh, Ubuntu 1804. So that's the, so whenever you see that 1804, 1810, or 1904, you want to choose that option. On this, we'll get to choose the GW package installer. So we'll say, yeah, go ahead. It will download this utility and should uh, go ahead and start, yeah, download it right away. That's great. It says, hey, we need to install some other things. You can look at details if you want to to see what it's installing. And you can say, install the package. When you do that, it's going to ask you for your password. So we'll choose continue. Enter our password. let it finish installing and then we need to get the VirtualBox extensions and configure VirtualBox. If you want to see the details, you can look at the details there and just kind of see what's going on in the background. Okay, it's done. Now we're going to go ahead and close this. So close that up. And then if you'll scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see that there is somewhere, well, maybe it's not on here. I'm looking for the extension. Go to downloads. Oh, it's on the downloads page. Go to downloads again. Go back to downloads. And then you see VirtualBox 610 VirtualBox extension pack. So let's grab that. All supported platforms. And you notice that when you click that, it says open with Oracle VM VirtualBox. We'll go ahead and choose OK and install. Linux has made installation of software extremely easy. Now you have to have scroll down this thing to accept. I guess I agree. I don't know what it said. And uh, that's what we're finding in any court cases that arise um, concerning that now is people don't read those things. and. Not, it doesn't seem to matter a lot of the times. Uh, so the extension pack, Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack was installed successfully. We're going to choose OK. So I'm going to close the website there. Here's VirtualBox. So we've got it installed now. We need to make a couple of configurations. Once again, these are my configurations for my particular system. These are the ways I like it to operate. So I'm going to choose File and Preferences. Underneath Preferences, I do not want it to be VirtualBox VMs. I do not want that to have a space in the name. Not only do I not want that to have a space in the name, I'm actually gonna change that later on, but right now, home student virtual box, no space in the name there. The input, that's just fine. Update, no, do not check for updates. I don't want you telling me every day that there's a new update out. The language, go ahead and use your built-in languages. The display, I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead, automatic. Network, no changes there until we want to add NAT or host only networking. networking. The extensions is where we'd add the extension pack if we didn't already, but fortunately it found it and installed. And then a proxy if you're using a proxy to get out to the internet. So we're going to choose OK on there. So the only two changes you have to make is remove that space VMS, which is VMs. And I don't know why they do that, it's just be VirtualBox to be good. Uh, and then the uh, the update, and that is it. So now we have VirtualBox installed. We can go through and we can uh, we can create new machines. We have a bunch of options to choose from. Um, whatever we want to do. I hope this has helped, and I look forward to seeing you next time.